You have reached Atheist Republic voicemails. God may not be listening to you, but the citizens of the Atheist Republic are. Leave us a voicemail on atheistrepublic.com for a chance to have your message broadcast to our followers worldwide. Send us your opinions, stories, advice, or concerns. Together, we'll build a platform for atheist voices all around the globe. Hello, Atheist Republic. My name is Alex. That's not really my real name. My real name is um, Abdullah Sadly, which means a slave to Allah. I'm no slave of anybody. And um, finally, here free in Germany, and you know I cannot not express how happy I am, even though I don't have um, lost friends here. I don't know anybody. I'm still seeking asylum, waiting for my asylum process. I cannot legally work, but you know I can always treat that with a smile. <laughs> you know I know that you guys are out there. I'm really happy to see this website and, and even more happy when I saw this recording button. And I just want to say I love you. <laughs> okay, I forgot to add this actually. Uh, I'm an ex-Muslim from Saudi Arabia and uh, it really is difficult. I don't know a lot of people here in Germany. Uh, I'm a Magdeburg, you know, this information is classified. Um, you know, I cannot, I cannot tell my name, um, my full name, you know, because um, I have to trust someone with that. So if you can, if you are going to report this, you're going to put this in the air, then don't, just don't show them my name. My first name still, like I said earlier in the recording, it's Abdullah. And, you know, I hate that name. That's why I call myself Alex. Call me Alex, ex-Muslim. I still don't have a last name yet. So I figured it out. And um, I'm not going to say my real Arabic uh, last name. Um, for, for security reasons. And, you know, if someone, if you guys, if this work with the public, um, is, you know, able to listen to this, please help me. Um, you know, I just need someone to talk to. You know? And it helps me feel like I'm not alone. I try to avoid you know, contact with people that don't really understand what a nice Muslim suffers. You know, it's difficult. But you know, I've been strong all this time. And you know, I came to this website. I had uh, you know, an account here, Atheist Saudi. I think that's what it was, Saudi Atheist. Um, that's when I reconnect. Was in Saudi Arabia, and now I'm finally here, free in Germany. So, yeah, keep being positive. Have a wonderful day or night, whatever that might be. Hi, Alex. Um, just wanted to let you know that we we're not gonna put your last name. Don't worry about that. And thank you for reaching out to us. I uh, also want to let everybody know that if you go to atheistrepublic.com under resources section, there's a, another section under resources that is called support group for atheists. If you click on there, uh, we have a group of people that um, if, you ha if you're having any, if you need any emotional support um, and don't have access to any, uh, or, or can't afford uh, professional help, but you just want some atheists to talk to and for people to listen to, there's an application there that you could fill and tell us what you need, want to talk about, and we'll get somebody in touch with you, um, and they will be, they can talk to you online. Um, so again, that's under um, atheistrepublic.com, resources, support for atheists. What I don't like is the Islam always take advantage of the democracy and human rights law. They can open mosque anywhere in the world they want, and they think they're victorious, and that's because they're good and expanding. But then the Christian or other religious cannot open the church or worship place in any Arab country. Why that? Please stop this nonsense. Atheist is the answer. Hello, my name is Rashad Gray, and um, I'm an American atheist, black American atheist in Mississippi. And um, 
my message is out to the small uh, group of black atheists around the country. Um, my thing is really, you got to help educate your fellow black brothers and sisters on the uh, idiocy that is Christianity, Islam, and other types of uh, idiotic religions with stupid doctrines. Uh, my thing is, how are you going to follow a religion that was uh, put upon you by people who told you your God was wrong uh, just to replace it with their little uh, personal sky daddy? Uh, when are you going to break free from the brainwashing and stop fucking praying to fix your problems and actually get off your ass and fix your own problems? Hello, everyone. I'm Jubar Hussain Jihad from Bangladesh. I became an atheist when I was 17. I know you're not alone, but in many places like our country, our society, we're really alone. I know the world will change. We will change the world. Love it, this Republic. Thank you. My name is Angel Aulet. I am a... Uh 44-year-old ordained minister turned uh, atheist. I've been personally responsible for sending people to heaven via baptism uh, about maybe 23 to 25 people personally baptized. I led a, a congregation of nearly 200 people uh, or more, actually. Um, and I did that for about four or five years. Um, although I've been a Christian much longer, uh, I decided to go atheist because eventually after reading it unbiasedly, I realized that everything that I grew up learning and everything that I believed in was all a lie. Uh, so I don't want to take too much time. I know this is a short recording. All I know is that everything that I know about the Bible and the, um, uh, historically, archaeologically, uh, and, um, and spiritually, quote unquote, I am now turning to the purpose of helping people to realize the truths and, uh, using my atheism as a, uh, positive avenue to help people, um, find the way out and into a true, open, free way of life. Well, hey everyone. My name's Bree and I go by Badania when I sing online. If anybody ends up listening to this, I'd just like to say thank you, first of all. And basically, my story is that I'd attribute all the happiness in my life right now to atheism for a variety of reasons, but I don't want to talk too long, especially about myself when I can already be so awkward and I'm not all that important. Um, but the main thing I wanted to say is that I love atheism because I don't have to see things through a religious perspective. I'm free to think and feel anything I want to without fear or without feeling like I need to be another way. It's basically allowed me to accept myself for what I am by nature, nurture, and all that. And... It's helped me really lighten up. I've even learned that atheists tend to get less depressed. The fact is I've been through some traumas through life, as most people have, but I don't think I would have been able to heal without atheism, without really seeing things through my view and learning a lot of research and a lot of stories, even just history that's enabled me to feel as strongly as I do about some things. In fact, if I couldn't feel as strongly as I did, I wouldn't have finished writing um, certain songs and a potential screenplay that mean everything to me. A lady's considering my story for a film right now. And yeah, definitely, I don't think I could have ever written it if I were just brainwashed in a cult right now, like some people have tried to get me into, basically. So to know I'm free of all that, just, it means a lot to me. 
the fact is, I don't even think I would feel like myself if I had to follow any dogma right now. I don't even know why I'm so nervous recording this because as an atheist, I don't have to be anything, just myself, really. And that's probably just the best part about it. Hello. Yeah, this is Muhammad, born in Saudi Arabia. And I am here in Netherlands. So I need to contact the people uh, to meet them and know more about atheism. Because I was Muslim, but I don't uh, believe in Quran. Now, I, I studied Bible here in two months. Uh, this is nonsense, you know. So I don't uh, want to be a uh, Christian or Muslim. So I need to join your team here in Netherlands. So please help me to get there. So so that I know my rights here. I'm afraid of the people here surrounding me. There is Muslims and Christians, so I don't want to speak these things in front of them. So please tell me, how can I meet them here? Hi, this is a message for Mohammed from Saudi Arabia, now residing in Netherlands. If you go to atheistrepublic.com um, and go to their resources section, there's a place where uh, where it mentions atheists. Find atheists near you, and over there, there should you should find links to um, a local con atheist republic consulate, um, and even for cities that we don't have a consulate, you could request to start one. Uh, but we have most of the major cities already listed there, and it's a good way for people to find atheists uh, close to them. So again, that's on atheistrepublic.com. Under resources section, find atheists near me. There's a group for every uh, major city um, for people to be able to find each other or even just talk to each other for atheists ne near them. And just um, if there is, if you can't find your city, just file the application, and we'll uh, start a consulate for you. Hi, this is Dave from Ohio in the U.S. Namaste. Um, in a recent podcast episode, the first several minutes were ceded to a theistic apologist commenting on the issues of first cause, the uncreated creator, the taxicab problem, etc., as described in an email he read from Atheist Republic. He posited a few points and asked for an atheist response. So I'm going to try to address a few of his themes. His first observation concerns the following problem. Many theists posit that the God hypothesis is an answer when there is no other logical answer. He kind of defended this tactic saying, quote, it's not a requirement that we understand the nature of a thing in order to posit that it is the most plausible explanation, unquote. He used the example that if archaeologists find an artifact such as pottery made by no known culture, that they do not assume that it formed naturally. They presume there must be a culture they are unaware of otherwise, and they run with this hypothesis. He said, quote, we wouldn't get anywhere in the advancement of science and knowledge if we rejected the most plausible explanation on the basis that we can't explain the explanation, unquote. This is fundamentally flawed thinking. While it's true that Occam's razor says the simplest explanation is probably the most correct, that depends on what one considers a simple explanation. Some would presume the artifact from the example was left by ancient aliens. Still others would say the artifact is antediluvian. But the correct scientific methodology would be to put a pin in the question until further evidence manifests. In fact, until a hypothesis is testable, repeatable, falsifiable, and observable, it's just a best guess. He then moves on to discuss infinite regress. In his counter-argument, he cited Aristotle's definition of the deity and noted that God is defined as spaceless, timeless, and immaterial. Thus, he argues that since these are theistic descriptions of God, and since first cause suggests that the universe had spaceless, timeless, and immaterial origins, that God done it. He also tossed in some of Anselm's ontology for good measure to suggest that God is maximally great. Therefore, since there's a first cause, there has to be a God. But that's well poisoning. It's accepting a deistic first mover premise and calling it theistic truth when we have not established that the premise is even correct. First, deism is not theism. Second, we don't know that the first mover has agency, so why call it God? And thirdly, we don't know that there's a first mover. 
For example, we now know that particles are entangled at the quantum level. We also know that particles pop in and out of existence without apparent cause. Additionally, we know that time and space are dimensionally connected and that time is conceptually relative to the observer. Our experience of time and reality are fundamentally illusions and therefore may not there may not be a first cause since the concept of before the universe began is meaningless in a multiverse where time only exists as a perception. He also drops a straw man stating that historically atheists have had no problem asserting that the universe is eternal. This may be true for some atheists, but if so, it's a prejudice born of ignorance. The universe may or may not be eternal, but in all likelihood, the universe is finite. And again, the idea of after the universe is meaningless in a multiverse where time ends with the collapse or other destruction of space. Finally, he criticizes the email that brung him for stating, quote, but where they, believers, are wrong is stating that the complexity necessitates a designer, unquote. His issue is that the statement is not justified in any way. He apparently wants an explanation of something complex that has no designer. Now, I can't speak to the email and whether his point is valid because I did not see the email. I only have his description to work with. So I'll see that his characterization might be valid. However, I can respond to why the complexity of the universe does not need a designer. We know that from our point of view, we exist. We know that the rules governing physics are complex and seemingly perfectly designed for us to be. However, we do not know that there's a purpose behind that complexity. It could be happenstance. For all we know, the universe we inhabit was one of millions of failed attempts. Or perhaps there were millions of successful other attempts from singularity, but with other physical rules in place. Perhaps millions or billions of universes have happened, some with life, some with intelligent life, or maybe we're the first and only time. None of that means it happened for a purpose. And if there's no purpose, there's no need for a designer. And as Aristotle said, if God isn't necessary, he doesn't exist. Bottom line, this life could all be just one of Bob Ross's happy accidents. And if there's a God, he hasn't left much reason to believe in him. So why bother? Thank you. Please consider supporting us by sharing the podcast with your fellow heathens or donating by going to AtheistRepublic.com and clicking on support. Subscribe to Atheist Republic voicemails on iTunes, Stitcher or your favorite podcast app. And please leave us a review.